Okay, here we go. We got our character going. We're playing as somebody else now. Question mark, boy. Obviously a black mage. So let's go check this place out. Ah, what? Damn, kid. Get back here. I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Wow, nobles. We are in... Oh, wait. Is there something there? Nice. Yeah, just go steal it, VV. Nobody will notice it's gone. It sort of wobbles around. <laughs> game is kind of goofy. I do I like to have some primitive lighting effects so your character is like, notice VV's in shadow now. Takes a step, and he's a little bit brighter. I mean, it's a very primitive lighting effect. It doesn't really do much, but it just shows that they put the effort into this game and making it pretty. Oh, there's the run button. Ha! Ah. How you doing, freaky looking dude? How you doing? You talk? My name is Ashley. That's something also note about this game is they took the time to name every single character. These completely unimportant people have names. Male Red Mage. Well, it's close to a name. Hey Maggie. Now ordinarily you wouldn't see Unimportant characters get names in anything like this. They're just, uh... They wouldn't even have a name above their text. They'd just be people. And, uh, here we are. Everybody has got names. It's kind of goofy. Goblin card. I like goblin cards. Nobles from Trino. Trino is a... You know, I'm not sure what Trino is supposed to be. Like a city-state? I don't think it belongs to... Alexandria. But, you know, whatever. We'll get to that when we find Trino. Ah, oh, okay. How you doing, guy? I don't need anything that you have. You suck. You also note that this game has a kind of sense of humor about it that uh, you really didn't see in Final Fantasy 7 and 8. Ah, his ticket is fake. Little kid doesn't get to go and see the show. Show's a front anyway, but he still wants to see the show. I don't know. But this game has a kind of help. Oh, uh, mini games. Lots of mini games. Let's try it. Ah, one time. Huh. <laughs> Let's give that one more try. Now, this game has a, a sense of humor about it that a lot of the other Final Fantasy games didn't have. Because, particularly in 7 and 8, let's say even 10, although a little bit to a lesser extent. Oh, he trips. Yeah, it wasn't me, you dumbass. It was you. Why are you hammering that anyway? Is that all you did? Yeah, that's a good deal, kid. Do it.
Want to steal a ladder? How you doing, guy? Ah, you dumbass. What? You stole my money, you fucker. Anyway, this game has that sense of humor about it that 7, 8, and even 10 really didn't have. 12 as well. And it's closer to what you would see in, like, the earlier games. Like, Final Fantasy VI was a little bit goofy. And it was intentionally done so. Oh, synthesis. We'll get into this crap later. We can't, we're not going to be doing this now, anyhow. It is goofy. And, I mean, it's a story that doesn't take itself terribly seriously. Although it does at times. When it needs to, the game gets... Uh, quit screwing around. Hey, hey, don't you touch me. You stole my money before, fool. <laughs> but it's, it's lighthearted and just tries to have fun with itself. Okay, that came out wrong. Yeah, it's dangerous, so... Hold on, rat kid. I'll go first. Get the ladder. Ow! <laughs> I get it. Okay, I guess so you're not going first. You agreed to be this little bastard slave. Okay, let's make a save. You use Moogles for save points in this game. Ah, there's no memory card. I'm gonna have to figure that out later. <laughs> you can use tents to, like in any other Final Fantasy game at save points. I don't have any tents, or at least I don't think. But Magnet is really why I wanted to talk to this guy right now. It's another mini-game in Final Fantasy IX where it involves you taking part in a sort of Moogle postal service, delivering letters between different Moogles. And for the most part, they just sort of appear along your path during your storyline progression, so it's not something you have to go out of your way to do. Sure. Okay, we have a letter from the Monty, and we will run in the Monty later on. But let's follow Rat Kid up. Now, if you haven't figured out, Rat Kid is Rat Kid is trying to sneak into the theater to go and watch the uh, the play. Seems dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you're only trapped up here now. Vivi. This way. 
Let's give it a try, see if we can get over there. Oh yes, getting some gill. Gill being the, of course, the form of money that they use in the Final Fantasy games. Which way did Puck go? Well, he didn't go this way. Mm. Okay, yeah, he's over there in the upper right corner of the screen. That's where we're going. 